today's video we are going to replace this bathtub drain assembly. There's lots, a heavy amount of minerals in the water in this house, it's on a well, and it has rotted out the strainer portion here. Now every now and again through this video you may hear me say something that doesn't quite make sense with the sequence of events and the reason is um, I'm kind of going to go in reverse. What I want you to know before you start your project is, as I discovered, there's two different sizes of these drain assemblies. So we're going to go back and we're going to remove this whole thing and we'll go through that. But uh, my first trip of this project was I went to the hardware store and I bought what I thought was a standard train assembly size. These were almost, uh, they were all this size and all sorts of different manufacturers. Um, and there was a few later on I discovered of this size. If we measure the opening back here, like from the outside edge to the outside edge, you can see that that's like one and seven eighths. This is not a sponsored video, so there's no advertising involved here, but I will give you the prices of um, the bathtub uh, drain assembly I got here. That was, I'm looking at my receipt, in uh, May of 2021, that was $12.49. Hopefully you will not need this extrain, uh, drain extractor tool. That was 19.98 in Canada. And uh, what else we got here? Uh, I have already had this, the plumber's putty. That's like, I don't know, $2, something like that. And we're going to use some uh, thread seal tape, and that was 80 cents. I have my extractor tool in place in the drain. Hopefully, you won't have to use the extractor tool. What you will do is take a set of pliers, put them in there like that, and because yours aren't rotted out, you'll just be able to turn like that and extract the drain. I have my extension in place. I'm gonna tap that down. Take my ratchet. Set it for counterclockwise, which will be this way. If you're not sure about using ratchets and sockets, I have a video on that. I'll put a link down below this one. Let this set for a couple of minutes and maybe the expansion of the, the drain plug itself and then maybe when it contracts it might cause that to let loose a little bit and we'll try our extractor tool again.
this pop-up drain plug that I had to buy for the new drain assembly was $28 in Canada, 2021. I would advise shopping around a bit ahead of time, probably find a cheaper version of that. Uh, but anyway, I was in the middle of the job, as we know. So, what I'm going to do here is clean our uh, drain out with an old toothbrush that I got. Our, oops. I'm going to fast forward at a certain point here so you don't have to watch this whole monotonous process. But basically what we're going to do is to put our new gasket in. This is underneath. This gasket goes underneath the tub here as you will see. There's our old one. Probably could reuse that if we cleaned it up, but it only cost like two bucks or something. So, anyways, we're gonna slip our new gasket in there in place underneath here. You'll see that. I'm gonna take some Teflon tape. Oop. I'm gonna put this around the threads. This is just a extra precaution to avoid leaks like this as I say I'm gonna fast forward through this but I just want to show you the process now and then we'll just record the whole rest of it so we'll have that ready and uh, then I'm going to put some plumber's putty along here or I might put it on the outside edge. I've done this before but I can't uh, I don't think it matters. I might put the putty out there. Oh no actually I'll probably put it in there. Anyways I'll probably put the putty here actually. Now that I recall what I did when I changed out the, the same unit in the upstairs of this house. I just want to show you when I was going back and forth like this I wanted to show you that if you kind of move it move the uh, drain assembly back and forth a little bit it'll help it kind of seat into the tub you really have to but it'll if you see what I'm doing there so this is the final tightening you don't have to get too aggressive with this we're gonna the final process we're gonna check for leaks so if you think, oh, I don't want to turn it too tight because that's only ABS pipe underneath, like coming up from the underneath of the tub. So you don't want to crack it. So I'm going to go about that tight. We're going to get rid of our excess putty here. And I'm going to screw our stop in. Then I'm going to put some water in the tub and I have access to the drain pipe from behind the wall over here. So I'll start the, uh, the recording from the other side. And we'll just fast forward me putting this plug in here, which is just put it down. You can see the threads in the drain assembly and turn this clock counterclockwise to go in here.
So we're completely done. Now we're going to do the leak test. So put some water in the tub and hopefully you'll have access as I do here that I can check the pipe, the drain pipe. So I'm going to go over here and I've already done this. I actually did a half turn more. Where are we at here? one more half a turn because it was a very very slow leak like i mean like every 30 seconds or so i would see a drop of water so i did a half more turn clockwise and then checked it see here's the here's our rubber gasket up here and i would just lead the pan put a pan underneath there um that's how i verified that that i had a very very small leak Anyways, uh, I tightened it up. There's no leak now. Uh, hopefully uh, this video was helpful. Thanks for watching.